know, these guys coming out of uh, Waynesburg, Missouri, man, they have some serious prospects. Like I said earlier, uh, Sweet Baby Ray Hayes trains out of there. Gregory Outcast had been four and one himself. Austin Hayes, even though we saw him, you know, take a loss earlier tonight, uh, a high-level prospect in his own right. You know, they're, they're doing a lot of things right over there. Peter Lucent, undefeated, uh, I'm sorry, uh, seven and one, the number one prospect at 135 pounds here in Missouri. You take one look at Gregory Inman and you can tell this guy just wants to fight somebody. He has been itching for a fight all night. You, We walk downstairs, you see him in the fighter meeting. I'll find out. Yeah, he, he's, he's taken a five month layoff since his last fight uh, in, in a loss that he took to Ethan Gray. All right. Featherweight bout. Fighting out of blue corner. He comes in with three wins and two losses. Representing Midwest Combat Academy. All the way from Emporia, Kansas. Logan Blow. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes in with four wins and only one loss. He's representing Parabellum MMA. All the way from Salem, Missouri. Gregory the Outcast. Inman! Gerald Harris getting us ready for our final prelim fight of the night before we start our main card, and it's a good one. Logan Blow, as I mentioned, three and two. Like I said, Logan Blow always looking to get off first, and there he is, big one, two in the takedown. And he does have great submission defense. You, you try to get a guillotine on, on Logan Blow, it usually doesn't work. And Blow brings him right to his corner. Yeah, did a great job just carrying Lo or Austin or Gregory Inman to his uh, to the corner here. And this is kind of Logan Blow's game, you know. He, he can he can do this all three minutes. You know, he's got to be really Inman. careful here, though. You know, Gregory Inman has an incredible guard. Like I said earlier, he's super crafty off his back. He's got to finish over Seth Otis, who we saw earlier tonight. Um, with an arm bar in a situation like this, early takedown in, to start round number two and did a good job of just swiveling his hips and tossing it up. It looks like Blow got the right leg of yeah. Inman right there. And yeah, Inman, three, of, three out of four fights have been finishes. By submission. Uh, and Logan. his last loss was against one of the best amateurs in the region. Logan Blow did a great job there passing into the half guard to kind of nullify the submission threat from the arm bar of the, the guard. Austin Inman finally though, you know, I'm sorry, Greg Inman finding his way back to the closed guard. I keep calling him his brother's name. We got the Hayes, got the Inmans tonight. Yeah, Logan Blow is, is right in his, his wheelhouse. Yeah, I don't know if that's a Missouri thing or not, but we have a, a ton of brothers who all train and fight in the Missouri area. There's the Zykins. There's the Zykins, there's the McCormicks, there's the Edmonds, there's the Hayes. And yeah, we do have a bit of a Kimura attempt. But Bloa has his hands together. It's no threat so far. Logan Blow doing a good job with the head position to nullify Greg Edmonds attempts to sit up and posture. And, I, and I've seen Logan Blow do this before, you know. It's it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but he can just take you to his corner and no. do exactly what he wants and just remain on top of you and exactly. and just hit you with those short shots, and it's a very effective game plan. You know, a, a, a lot of people get tired of seeing stuff like this. I, I absolutely love it. You know, see someone completely impose their will. It's like he went for the choke. Greg Edman almost with the reversal for a second. Logan Blow doing a great job of coming back up on top here, fighting from the single leg X position. Yeah, good job by Gregory Inman to get out of that choke by any means necessary. Good round number one for Logan Blow here early. Logan Blow, pure domination from the second the bell rang. 
His corner brings his stool in for him and he waves it off. He's, he wants to stand and stare. And he can do it. He can do that all night long, all three rounds for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him try to employ that same game plan, get the takedown on Inman, and just control the fight for the, the remainder of round number two. Inman's got to find some success on the feet or uh, attempt more submissions like he did. He had the Kimura that he was looking for, and then the triangle wasn't there. Just good good top game from Logan, Logan you know, Blow all round. I, I'd really like to see more attempts for Greg Inman to get up. You know, uh, uh, with a guy like this who has a lot of submission finishes early in his career, he can rely on his guard a little too heavily in situations where he's been taken down. I, I, I would hate to see him, you know, spin the fight on his back, not take a lot of damage and still lose when he's got the ability to stand back up as well with it. Two heavy leg kicks and then up to the top for Logan Blow. Big kicks into the shot again for Beautiful. Logan Blow. Another slam coming, I think. Great job from Inman to get his hip free. You saw Logan Blow just think he was going to carry him right to his corner, and, and Inman said, I'm not going over there, you know, I'm, I'm hopping off. So it was a good job by Inman in that situation. Yeah, and on the takedown attempt is Greg Inman. Jack it up, Lee. Jack it up, Lee. Don't forget about your knees, yes. Big knee to the body by Logan Blow on the underhook side. The great and Blow's job. got great cardio, too. Logan Blow really feeling himself right now. Hands down, vibing, dipping back and forth. He's, he's in the flow right Ooh. now. Good. It's like a good jab there by Greg Inman. It was almost like a jab, but a, a, a little check kick at the same time that sat Logan Blow down. Put a big right wow. hand into a duck under. And it was almost like Logan Blow said, enough of the stand up. We're going right back to the ground. Was able to get it there fairly easily. And been looking to stuff the arm for the triangle here, but Logan Blow doing a good job controlling that foot and stopping the, the submission attempt there. Back in the close guard here is Greg Edmund. Like I said, I'd really like to see him just get his feet in the hips and work to stand up, as opposed to working on in the guard on his back. And there's right Logan Blow. He got there kind of later in the round, but he's right back to it. Just He's content to stay in the full guard of, of Greg Inman and just hit, hit him with these short shots. So It shows the ref you're working, and it's effective. Well, now, now you see Inman's head pressed up against the cage, right? Once you start to see a bend in the neck unintentionally from uh, the, the person on bottom, it really makes it difficult to operate inside their own guard, right? He, he doesn't have free reign to move his head, and your head controls the rest of your body. So when your head's compressed like this up against the cage, it really makes it hard to extend your lower body, and extension makes it hard for you to get back to your feet. Greg Inman just in Logan Blow's world right now. Got 20 seconds left here in round number two. Logan Blow cruising to, round, to a second round in his favor. More short shots for Logan Blow as we wrap up round number two. And another good one from Blow, even on the feet, was having some success with those leg kicks, those hard leg kicks. Good show of sportsmanship. Logan Blow helping Inman up at the end of round two. And this time Logan Blow will accept the stool for round number two. Yeah, Had to work a little bit harder that round. Yeah, like I, that's, that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. Had to definitely work a lot harder there to control Inman. But um, definitely up two rounds to nothing on this. Kind of just surprised him, but he did. Did go down and then caught the kick of Inman, took him down. You make a mistake with Logan Blow, he'll make you pay.
for round three. A nice hug to start the round. And that leg kick is, is, is nasty from Blow. And he'll bring it up top too. Yeah, he's really right side heavy, right kick, right hand, but it's really paying off for him tonight. Inside leg kick this time from Blow, then another outside leg kick. And he's got Inman biting on, on all of his attacks right now. Yeah, look, look, look at the left knee of Greg Inman, just completely purple. And those leg kicks are affecting Inman. Logan Blow going high again, just spamming these kicks. He is. He, there's, he's just an effective striker. You know, he's not, not these big movements, not any spinning back fists or anything like that. It's just short leg kicks. They're landing. He's going to keep doing it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's super simple, and I, I, I don't mean to say that with any ill intention. Sometimes, you know, simple fundamentals, one, two, three, leg kick, is just enough to get it done and set up the striking exchanges. He just got him biting on yeah, I mean, almost every attempt. And even when he checks them to, the, to this extent, they, they're still hurting Inman, you can tell. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's not getting out of the way in time. He's, he's forced Inman to switch stances in, uh, in different instances, but it's not enough to, to corral these leg kicks and really uh, stop the pressure from Logan Blow. One more minute to work if you're Logan Blow. One more minute to make something happen if you're Greg Inman. And a big a nice takedown again. Takedown. Logan blows corner screaming. He wants a way out. Give it to him. Just grind him down. Make him give up. And he's had success here all, all night. Logan Blow. Yeah, zero adversity face for Logan Blow at, at, at any point in this fight so far. And you just got to be happy with that performance if you're Logan Blow. Showed your striking, showed your ground game, and once again, your submission defense. Standing in front, taunting the A1 <laughs> up kick, sticks his tongue out and wiggles at him. Just raining in the shots. Yeah, continuing to just delay these little pot shots here at the ground and pound. Big push kick though. You got it throw, Greg. There it is. <laughs> Three rounds of action. Logan Blow just point point and simple got it done tonight. Probably the most impressive performance of his career to date and it was beautiful. A a absolute domination beautiful. from Logan Blow. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolute domination. He comes over to the to our, our table here to check in. Ask his ask if his performance was pretty. I liked it, Justin. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed. You you can't ask for much more. You, I mean, uh, I I always tell uh, my guys in the gym, you know, you, there's five aspects of the fight. Right, there's there's the striking, there's the cardio, there's the grappling, there's the boxing, and the kickboxing. Right, and most times you really got to win three of the five. Right, if you can win three of the five, that's usually a good night. And Logan Blow, he won all five tonight. All five, absolutely. He showed a little bit of everything against a guy in Greg Inman who's four and one, and with, with a tough opponent, tough out, pitched a shutout. Yeah, you know, the, the combined record of Greg Edmund's opponents going in tonight was 8-1. You know, his, his only loss was a, a decision to, to Ethan Ray, who, um, as of last weekend, claimed the number uh, two spot at 145 pounds, uh, right behind Sweet Baby Ray Hayes in, for all of Missouri and Kansas. Um, so an impressive performance from Logan Blow, who, you know, has faced nothing but absolute killers in uh, his six fights. And, against, and that's what I said in the pre-fight. You know, Logan Blow, he can, I think, handle just about any amateur that you throw at him. And if he's able to get you down on the ground, he'll do that to you all the whole round. Take you to his corner, ground you out with some short shots. 
and his striking's coming along too. Those leg kicks, All right, having him the feints, everything was working tonight for him. All right, here's our official decision. Your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Logan Blue.